Hi, everybody. This is L Said What. I wanted to talk about one part of the defense strategy in the Charlie Adelson murder for hire trial. And the defense strategy is two prong. And the strategy that I want to discuss is that Sigfredo Garcia, Katie McBonawas, on and off again boyfriend, father of her two children, committed the murder of Dan Markle with Luis Rivera. And it all stemmed mostly from Sigfredo Garcia being jealous of Charlie Adelson dating Katie McBonawa. Now, Charlie says that Sigfredo considered Katie McBonawa the love of his life. Katie McBonawa agrees with that, that Sigfredo does consider her the love of his life, that the two of them have been dating since they left high school. And Katie McBonawa testified that Charlie Adelson is the first guy that she really dated after Sigfredo. The defense is claiming that Katie wanted things to get a little more serious between she and Charlie. And Katie admits that she did ask Charlie about them becoming more serious, but that she was okay with it when Charlie said he wanted to keep things casual. Now, the defense is saying that once Katie realized she was not going to beg this wealthy dentist, and the defense says that this wealthy dentist, Charlie Adelson, treated her much better than Sigfredo, that somehow that culminated into Katie McBonawa and Sigfredo Garcia plotting with, to murder Charlie Adelson's ex-brother-in-law. Now, even in Katie's trial and in her retrial, Katie stated that Sigfredo's jealousy drove him to plot with Luis Rivera and even Charlie Adelson without her knowledge to murder Dan Markle. Now, I thought this defense was ridiculous for Katie. Katie has since been convicted and is serving a life sentence. And I thought that this defense was a real, real stretch for Charlie Adelson. However, I've discovered that Sigfredo Garcia called Katie McBonawa 2,700 times in the three months before the murder of Dan Markle. I think that's excessive even for co-parents. What do you guys think? The state has to convince all 12 jurors. The defense only has to convince one juror. Do you think that there is a juror that will buy Charlie Adelson not having anything to do with his ex-brother-in-law's murder? And that Katie McBonawa and Sigfredo Garcia employ Luis Rivera's help and that the three of them murdered Dan Markle without Charlie's knowledge. One last thing. I would think if Sigfredo was that jealous that he would just murder Charlie. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe.